Good day everyone! So I am John Axel Dister Nicola. And I am Janine Narita. So for today, we will be discussing about our assigned topic about micro and macro linguistics. But first, uh, we will have a short recap of what is linguistics. So what is linguistics? Linguistics is the scientific study of language and its structures, including the study of morphology, syntax, phonetics, and semantics. Did you know that linguistics has two main branches? Yes, and it is micro and macro linguistics. So, we will first tackle what is micro linguistics. So, what is micro linguistics? Microlinguistics focuses on the study of language itself, including its sounds or phonetics and phonology, grammatical structures or morphology, syntax and meanings or the semantics in context or pragmatics. So here are the structures of microlinguistics. First, the phonetics. What is phonetics? Phonetics is the study of the sounds of language. It deals with the way sounds are produced, transmitted, and perceived by human beings. Phonetics is further divided into three different branches, and these are the articulatory, acoustic, and auditory phonetics. So, what is articulatory phonetics? It deals with the study of articulation of speech sounds. Acoustic phonetics studies the physical properties of sounds as transmitted from mouth to air and then received by eardrum. And the last, auditory phonetics. It deals with the study of perpetual response to speech sounds as mediated by ear, auditory nerve, and brain. The second structure of microlinguistic is the phonology. Phonology is the study of how sounds are arranged in each language as organized units of speech. It also looks into the specifications in the distribution of sounds into small sound in each language. Next, morphology. Morphology deals with the forms of words, use of words and construction of words by small letters. It studies how words are formed into small meaningful units or the morphemes. Morphology is divided into two further branches the derivational and inflectional morphology. So what is derivational morphology? It's a type of word formation that creates new lexemes, either by changing syntactic category or by adding substantial new meaning to a free or bound base. Next, inflectional. What is inflectional morphology? conveys grammatical information such as number, tense, agreement, or case. Next structure is the semantics. What is semantics? Semantics is the study of meaning in a language. It focuses on studying the structure of meaning of words and making a sentence that is meaningful. Pragmatics. Pragmatics also deals with the meaning of language but it focuses on meaning and context rather than individual word meanings. And the last is the syntax. So what is syntax? It is the study of phrase structure, construction, clauses, and sentences in a language. It deals with basic word order followed in any language. So here are the structures of microlinguistics. So now we will be discussing about the macro linguistics. So macro linguistics have two branches, which is interdisciplinary and intradisciplinary. So first, we will be dis uh, I will give you the meaning of the macro linguistics. So macro linguistics is a field of study concerned with the language in its broadest serve and including the cultural and behavioral features associated with language. So we will tackle first what is interdisciplinary macrolinguistics. So interdisciplinary macrolinguistics uh, is a branch of linguistics deals with the study of linguistics with relation to other disciplines as sociology, psychology, neurology, geography, etc. So below are the interdisciplinary branch of macrolinguistics. So 
or social linguistics. So social linguistics is generally used for the study of relationship between society and language. So social linguistics is the branch of linguistics that deals with the effect of the society on a language. So it has strong connections and with anthropology, culture, and society. So the next one is the psycholinguistics. So psycholinguistics it deals with the study of mental aspects of language and speech. Its domain is concerned with how language is represented and processed in the brain. So psycholinguistics is a part of field of cognitive science. So the next one is the neurolinguistics. So neurolinguistics deals with the study of how language is represented in the brain, how and where a brain stores knowledge of a language that we speak. So it focuses on what happens as we put this knowledge into practice. So we also have here the stylistics. So stylistics, so it is an interdisciplinary field of linguistics that deals with the study and interpretation of style and tone in both written and spoken language. So the next one is the cognitive. So cognitive linguistics, so it is an interdisciplinary field of linguistics that deals with the study of language, mind, and social cultural experiences that first emerged in 1970s. So cognitive linguistics is characterized by a commitment to the inseparability of monitoring and form of study of language. So the next one is the geographical linguistics. So geography linguistics also called as dialect geography is study of local or regional variation of language or dialect studied as a field of knowledge. So language geography is the branch of human geography that studies the geographic distribution of language and its commitment elements. So the last one for the interdisciplinary macro linguistics is the computational linguistics. So what is computational linguistics? So it is the branch of linguistics that is concerned with the rule-based modeling of natural language from a computational perspective. Uh, so it is the branch of linguistics that deals with the techniques of computer science that are applied to the analysis and synthesis of language and speech. So we will proceed in the interdisciplinary microlinguistics. So what is interdisciplinary branches of microlinguistics? So interdisciplinary branches of linguistics deals with the study of linguistics with its own discipline. So below are the interdisciplinary branches of microlinguistics. So the first one is the applied linguistics. So applied linguistics examines the structure of language and its role in communication, language acquisition, second language, learning, and how the social and cultural environments interact with language and structure of language and its role in communication. So the second one is the theoretical linguistics. So theoretical linguistics, also known as a general linguistics, deals with concrete theories presented by um, scholars of language about various aspects concerning to linguistics. General linguistics is devoted to the theoretical study of describing a language and a method of investigating linguistic phenomena. So we also have historical linguistics. So historical linguistics, also known as general linguistics, also called diachronic linguistics. So it is the scientific study of language change over time. So principal concerns of historical linguistics include how and why language changes, changes in particular language, history of words, and etc. So etymology, history of speech communities, and relation between different language families. So the next one is descriptive linguistics. So descriptive linguistics is concerned with the description and analysis of the ways in which a language operates and is used by a given set of speakers at a given time. So the next, the last one is comparative linguistics. 
So, comparative linguistics is an interdisciplinary field of linguistics that deals with comparative study of different languages. So, it is the sub-branch of historical linguistics that is concerned with uh, accompanying language. So that ends our discussion about the branches of linguistics, which are the microlinguistics and the macrolinguistics. So I hope you learned something from our discussion. Uh, once again, I am John Axel Dizer Nicola. And I am Janine Larita. Thank you and have a nice day.